FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Hello everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 2nd of February, and a little happy birthday there to Tommy the 4th, Junior, Junior, Junior. And we're looking at uh, the Dow down 24 points and 35,386, said to my subscribers to my opening call. Really expect a day of consolidation here. Uh, this is important. A couple of things. If you're looking at my Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone, we're right there. Uh, let me just move that up a little bit. And that said that the 35,490s, 35,500 area should be resistance. So far, it's been resistance. And the MACD has finally crossed positive. The nine period moving is still under the 14. There's quite a bit to go. I'll talk about, about this, the pattern that I'm looking for over the coming weeks in February. When I do my Tiger Technicians Hour in a few minutes' time, let's just run these. Here we go. The S&P, which because of the fabulous uh, Google earnings yesterday, really got a boost, uh, as the QQQ did. Uh, this is now at 45.70, up 24 points. Uh, holding the overnight rally, so far so good. Leg B, this is good. Uh, here also the Magnes cross positive in both cases, the Dow and the S&P. The stochastic is running, but way, way, way weak. And I'll talk about that when I get back from my show. The QQQ, uh, very nice rally up 3.5 at 369. It, it's kind of doing what we said it needs to do to be able to sustain this rally. But when it gets to the 50 period moving average at about 376, if it does that in the next few days, that's going to be the big test. A sharp move above that says, you know what, we can actually go quite a bit higher in this move with the volatility index now pulling back to 21 after being at 38 just um, a week and a half ago. Let's go to the IWM, the IWM, the Russell 2000. Once again, kind of weak, down $1.75 at 201.62. Nothing to see here, folks, at this particular time. Gold gold is up uh, four points at 1805. It's, it's all within this rectangle formation. Above and below, it's stuck in a range, and that's the most important thing. But look at the dollar. This is really important. The dollar went right back to 95.94 after that very sharp move up last week. And this says to me that the dollar is in a consolidation phase here. Crude oil is still holding very well. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few minutes' time. And hope you can stay and check out my opening call, my dating newsletter. Very fast market push. I'll be back in a moment. 